Good morning. Today, my team and I, which consists of myself, Rawan Saab, Jana Nuruddin, Omar Musa, and Karim Rahal, will bring to you the future of agriculture, or in other words, aquaponics, the future that will not only make life worth living, but will also result in a reliable and sustainable method of farming. So what is aquaponics and why is its presence in Lebanon essential? Aquaponics is a resilient farming system that has proven to be efficient in utilizing resources. It is a form of agriculture that combines recirculating aquaculture and hydroponics, which is based on the provision of fish and a soilless plant culture. To give you an illustration of what the process is like, a short 10 second video will be attached at the end of this one. Now the reason why aquaponics is successful is due to its independence as it does not rely on any fertilizer, pesticides, herbicide, but rather the system relies on nutrient rich water that is supplied as a natural fertilizer from the waste of fish. And then in turn, the plants help purify the water in the tanks for the fish. It's also important to note that aquaponics helps reduce the daily watering that goes to crops. And to be more accurate, around 99% of water that goes to crops goes to waste. So why is aquaponic more sustainable? Because it actually uses one sixth of the water to grow eight times more food compared to traditional food agriculture. As for what grows in aquaponics is a wide range of products, starting with lettuce, onions, lettuce, onions, peas, beans, broccoli, cauliflower, oranges, limes, pomegranates, bananas, cabbages, tomatoes, cucumbers, radishes, and many, many more. Aquaponics is also very reliable in terms of sustaining the plants from being affected by the fluctuations of the weather and the environment. Now with Jana, we will identify the problems that aquaponics may help solve. Thank you. Hi everyone, my name is Jana Nuruddin, and today I will be discussing with you the problems that can be solved through aquaponics in Lebanon. So, to begin with, 2020 and 2021 haven't been our best years in Lebanon, especially since the number of crises seem to be accumulating, one after the other. Two major crises that are facing Lebanon at the moment are energy waste and insufficient amount of food provided to the Lebanese people due to the economic situation in Lebanon, another crisis. The struggle and fights inside the supermarkets and grocery stores have become usual stories to tell or hear in the Lebanese population. And the only excuse that you get at the end of the day is that there isn't enough food for everyone or each person can only grab two of those. As for the resource and energy waste problems, yeah, every typical man or woman in Lebanon at the moment are looking for to save up as much as they can. So imagine how excited they would be if you tell them that they can save so much energy and water and many more and have so much more fruits and vegetables in terms of quantity. They would be so excited and would be the first to run to the stores. All of that can happen through aquaponics. In additionally, in addition, two solutions to the mentioned problems. And these solutions will be mentioned by Omar in a second. Thank you. Hello, my name is Omar Musa and I will be talking about the solutions of aquaponics. Aquaponics offers a solution to numerous sustainability issues such as constrained water, availability, environmental pollution, uh, growing fertilizers cost, and uh, depletion of fertilizer soils. Moreover, facilities are displaying preliminarily, uh, preliminarily promised that can result in monetary viability. Uh, preliminary based totally on, uh, on minimum fish feed, electrical and water inputs. They generate the handiest wealthy compost as a waste product. No fertilizers, pesticides, herbicides, or boom hormones are required. A manufacturing facilities may be placed in any, in any city or uh, rural putting as long as electricity, uh, water, and daylight are available. Moreover, there isn't any dishonesty in this with aquaponics due to the fact that, that the process does not include any chemical, ins uh, any chemical insecticides or of any type or the fish might die. Even maximum approved natural insecticides may, might kill our fish. 
the fish uh, acts as a canary with inside the coal mine it pressures the it pressures uh, the aquaponics farmer to be honest even the faucet water in bent consists of chloramine that is uh, that uh, is an additive just like chlorine that could kill our fish aquaponics mimics the herbal symbiotic courting among fish and vegetation even natural tradition farmers want to complement their soils with with fertilizers these fertilizers may be terrible for the over fitness of the soil and the water shed. Aquaponics make use the, of 90% much less water than conventional farm. Plant grows twice as fast due to the clearly fortified water from the fish. Fewer pests to cope with, seeing that we are developing interior. Another av advantage of the developing interior is that we don't out to fear approximately sprays from the farmer next door blowing with inside the wind over directly to our vegetation or mysterious GMO plants performing in our vegetation like what befell in Eastern Oregon. Hello, my name is Karim Rahal and I will be concluding and explaining on why aquaponics is important and why you as an investor should invest in this project. Now, as my colleague Rowan Saab has said and explained that aquaponics is the future of agriculture. The value that aquaponics provides is huge. Its benefits outweigh its costs. Although the project is costly to build, it provides us with natural fertilizers such as fish and keeps us away from pesticides and the use of non-natural fertilizers. Aquaponics rely on four major resources, human, physical, intellectual, and finance in order to produce the top quality harvest that are organic. Our goal is to focus on both performance and price. Now the greenhouse environment naturally provides us with a performance boost since it does not deal with the external environment. Now, since we combine both natural fertilizers and the greenhouse environment, we get a boost in performance and a boost in production rate. As for the prices, we are way cheaper than the external market since we use natural fertilizers instead of non-natural fertilizers which the external market uses. Hence, as my colleagues Rawan, Jana, Omar and I explained that we can and we are able to use natural fertilizers such as fish instead of pesticides in order to produce the top quality harvest that are organic and safe for both nature and for us. Thank you.